Hey, how is it going? In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at uh, what might be considered to be important, climate change and some of those topics uh, that are going to be addressed within this video. But either way, so it's, it would be kind of, I guess, in, uh, kind of boring for many people. I prefer uh, myself <laughs> just for entertainment purposes read some controversial letters but either way this topic is very important so <laughs> EIT uh, you know energies open letter to partners in their carbonization so it's important all right <laughs> let's touch on some of those important issues and uh, let's delve deeper into this letter and the context of this letter Okay, uh, for this video, right, let's, uh, it, it might be a really important video that we need to pay more attention to what's happening in the world, uh, but either way. The transition to net zero will require a retraining of up to 18 million workers around the world by 2030. 18 million? I, I personally believe, uh, I don't know who put these numbers and how accurate those numbers are. I think the numbers are way, way higher. Perhaps they currently, since I'm taking a look at, uh, at this information at the European uh, organization's website, right, or some of those initiatives that they uh, was launched for the European Union, perhaps they're doing those numbers just within Europe, but I think those numbers are way, way higher of how much of the workforce uh, needs constantly reinvent themselves, constantly have new skills, new ideas, and myself, I'm constantly working on my new skills, uh, looking to develop those as well. Uh, so with 18, uh, I think that those numbers are way, way higher. Uh, this is a massive global change. The race for the talent and workforce is on. <laughs> Let's build some drama, right? I, I think uh, this letter is going to be very boring, but <laughs> let's try to do something with that, right? Uh, the war <laughs> and the climate change and the stability of our planet is in a shared concern. <laughs> At least it should be, right? Uh, do your taxes, <laughs> recycle, say hi to your neighbors, right? <laughs> and uh, perhaps look after the environment. You know, you everyone wants to live in a nice place, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Plunging the skill gaps for a green economy. Uh, it's just because when we are saying green, right, what we are greenwashing people. <laughs> if anything, uh, instead of green economy, because it's new Fed, right, so it's, it will come and go, if anything. It does focus on the process within itself. Uh, if, if it's anything, uh, there's any takeaways from this letter. There's going to be a lot of numbers, there, there's going to be a lot of figures. All of all of that, all of that. That's not necessarily accurate. Not not, not necessarily misleading. But uh, perhaps this uh, this narrative within itself, uh, perhaps would benefit people who would be able to capitalize on this opportunity within the next five or ten years, and from there it would become new normal. So it would only benefit perhaps not that many people. <laughs> if that makes sense, right? Uh, if anything, yourself as an individual, uh, you, uh, to say the least, should focus on constantly redefining your skills, expertise, knowledge, understand markets, where markets are moving, or how things are changing, and uh, you yourself need to have such a unique uh, set of skills that you would be able to generate a lot of value if, uh, for yourself and potentially or for others, so they could, by saying thank you, they can give you a lot of resources, if anything. Otherwise, we'll get stuck into there's going to be a new thing. It's a green, all right. So in a few years, there's going to be a new thing. There's going to be a new thing, and there's going to be a new thing. And uh, con things are constantly moving and changing, all right? The global green economy is growing and has extraordinary economic potential. In fact, according to, without promoting any of those, because I think oh, most of those researchers are misleading, but either way, either way, I'm not looking to promote any of those. Uh, they have done the research, so researchers, right, scientists, <laughs> establishment, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know who and what and why was within this team, that doesn't mean anything to me, and uh, if anything, some of those establishment, uh, educational institutions should reduce uh, cost of uh, 
improving skills and knowledge instead of uh, people uh, paying so much for those skills and acquiring those new skills either way an energy transition by 2050 will create new industries worth uh, about uh, 10.3 trillion I guess I guess I, I can't uh, from top of my head I can say three or four markets that will potentially build the same amount of uh, value for society <laughs> so, so, okay okay it's worth taking a look at those and perhaps addressing those but those issues uh, have to be addressed way back I don't know why it's an ongoing thing right uh, to the world economy by uh, that same year from electric vehicles mm, it's kind of good but uh, if, uh, if anything uh, we might end up in the same problem if we go to let some of those suppliers to build uh, only have one supplier if that makes sense we need to take a look and diversify to say the least having uh, infrastructures and options of that not necessarily limited just to electric vehicles there uh, should be uh, as a minimum of three alternatives there otherwise we end up in the exactly the same situation people up there one gonna learn <laughs> unless we have alternatives to that otherwise if people can they would ideally build again the same infrastructures the same people same politics same, the same business leaders we're gonna do exactly the same thing unless we will improve all those areas if we haven't learned from the history we are bound to repeat the history and this is what's constantly happening <laughs> i don't know i don't know what that means there's uh, so many different alternatives to even electric vehicles right so uh, we need to take a look at uh, at least three or four alternatives and then we can reduce the cost reduce the output and we can uh, switch between alter alternatives if we have to otherwise we end up in the same situation myself if I would write down projects, right? If I would write down projects for a board, who would need to approve that project? If I write down projects in this particular way, um, any of my projects won't be approved, right? So <laughs> this person is already making a lot of mistakes by writing these kind of let letters. With them. I understand what he's trying to do. He's taking one point, but it's not enough. We're talking about large groups of society, right? And within this letter, I don't know, I don't know, it wouldn't be approved, right? So if I would write down project, and I would say, oh, this is how we should do things, right? I already see too many mistakes within this letter. This uh, person is not taking into account potential risk and uh, the way how all the resources, uh, resources are going to be allocated just to a few numbers of people again. So there's a lot of issues there. So um, again, so I don't know if I should continue reading this letter because there's too many mistakes again who uh, this person is and what kind of agenda this person has if he made a lot of investments into <laughs> electric vehicles <clears throat> or what's the case <laughs> i don't know i don't know why he's promoting those in the first place because within this letter i can see there's a lot of greenwashing again so what i'm saying is i'm not supported by those people i don't know if i should continue reading this letter i'm gonna leave a link in the description for any of you who are interested but there's way too many mistakes because uh, by the way how he's proposing to lead a large group of people we are gonna end up in the same mess as we always been <laughs> yourself if you're interested in learning more i have uh, published a book within this book i'm sharing a lot of information for uh, next generation of leaders that would be uh, where to begin then establishing your livestock enterprise uh, focusing on sustainability innovation and if anything how to start your own business how to become more independent when you're looking at your budget uh, if you haven't done already where most of your expenses are and I'm looking within this book I'm addressing some of those areas and in particular when it comes to self-sufficiency as uh, sustainability and uh, some of those areas would be how to begin livestock enterprise and uh, work your way from zero to first ten thousand dollars here as sponsor where to begin within the book i'm sharing a lot of examples for people who are interested in learning more there's a qr code in the corner as well as you uh, yourself you can find uh, more information in the website below Myself, I'm more uh, more keen into reading some controversial letters, right? 
So it would be perhaps a little bit of uh, myself <laughs> having fun, right? I guess. <laughs> Uh, and I uh, see uh, some uh, <laughs> some interesting things about happening in the past and the way how people thought in the past and some of those things I, I, I already can see that these letters that I'm reading right now there would be perhaps written by one person then perhaps was reviewed <clears throat> by another person and was approved by a third person right and I can see a lot of mistakes within the letter and in particular I see agenda that they're looking to push and something that can be considered a greenwashing a lot of groups of people. Idea within itself of uh, 18 million workers <laughs> within the world need to learn new skills. I, I like this idea, the way uh, and some of the points within the letter I do not agree with uh, most of those since we might, uh, might find ourselves in the same situation like we've always been. Myself, I'm following history to understand where these kind of letters would lead us as well as some of those people, perhaps they have their own biases and agendas by promoting some ideas, so I'm not entirely sure there's no names which <laughs> might be important, so pe people can be held accountable for some of the actions and some of the ideas that they're pushing on large groups of people. Uh, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.